And with many folks in surrounding county, counties, uh, they're probably wondering when they are going to get the vaccine. Nueces County may have just received and administered some 4,000 doses of the vaccine, but folks in San Patricio County haven't seen anything like that. Our Michael Gibson reports. The Health Authority for San Patricio County. He says some county residents have been able to go to a few pharmacies around the county to get a COVID-19 vaccination. But for many communities, that's not an option. And unfortunately, the county is still waiting to get its first shipment of the vaccine. Well, we're expecting an email sometime today to give us the, uh, the amount of our first allocation. It's my understanding they normally ship the vaccine on Monday. That's a storage issue so that they can go ahead and give it throughout the entire week and don't have to have a delay. Uh, since we have a holiday next week, I'm expecting it on Tuesday. But if that shipment does not arrive, there is an offer on the table to allow some of San Patricio County's most vulnerable residents to be able to get the vaccine at the Nueces County mass vaccination site out at the fairgrounds. We've turned our sites now to San Pat and we'll be working and reaching out with them next week uh, when we receive more vaccine so that they also can make sure that they have uh, that they're at least addressing some of their most vulnerables. Judge Canales had more good news for our surrounding counties. She says that the Community Action Corporation of South Texas is watching how Nueces County is handling its mass vaccination effort. That in advance of the start of its own vaccination efforts in many of our coastal bend counties. We just had a visit this morning from a federally qualified health center that tackles six different counties, including um, Jim Wells, Duval, uh, Aransas, B. And so we know that they're here to learn from our operation and they're going to receive allocation, they believe, next week. Dr. Mobley says that San Patricio County has around 70,000 residents. He pointed out that he needs to get the vaccine to at least half of those folks to provide any kind of form of herd immunity. Right now, that vaccination effort has fallen way short, as he estimates only 250 folks have gotten the vaccine so far in San Patricio County. Michael Gibson, 3 News. And the Clayburg County Sheriff's Office is getting ready to help with the vaccination of 300 pre-registered residents there on Friday. The office is actually a provider of the vaccine. This will be its initial trial run as the department will use state resources to give those shots. Now the department has received donation donations of several medical grade refrigerator refreezers. One of those is going to be moved to the JK Northway Expo Center in Kingsville to be able to hold those 300 vaccines. Based on our need to take care of our, our, our county residents and potentially our, our surrounding counties uh, like Brooks County, Duval, Jim Wells, all of those uh, surrounding counties, it looks like we're going to be able to um, to get them taken care of as well. Sheriff Richard Kirkpatrick says that it has been a learning experience to ensure that the donated medical equipment has the documentation and the devices used to track the vaccine.